Hi, I'm Casey Malone with another edition of the Week in Review. Law enforcement officials continue to investigate the fatal shooting of a Michigan man that occurred in Hot Sulphur Springs. Agents with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation have determined the deceased man, 31-year-old Joshua Lee Stevens, had been in town looking for work. It's believed that Stevens showed up to the home of John and Heather Stein in an attempt to help his friend who was incarcerated in the Grand County Jail. According to CBI, Stevens attempted to force his way into the home just before midnight and immediately became engaged in an altercation with John Stein. Stevens was shot during the course of the physical struggle. The Grand County Coroner Brenda Bach reported that the man died from multiple gunshot wounds to the torso. Agents are still waiting on the results of a toxicology report to determine if alcohol or drugs were involved in the incident. John Stein is a lieutenant for the Grand County Sheriff's Office and Heather Stein serves as Deputy District Attorney for the 14th Judicial District. Both remain on administrative leave. Snow surveyors are a bit more optimistic than they were last month on the area's snowpack levels, with Middle Park and the Upper Colorado River Basin at 79% of average. Last month, snowpack levels were lower than 2012 levels. Reservoir storage remains lower than last year, according to officials from the Natural Resources Office. It is impossible to catch up on snowpack at this late date, and from this point on, spring runoff will be highly dependent on melting conditions and moisture accumulation. We can only hope for a rainy summer. Authorities are investigating a break-in at the Lakeview General Store in Grand Lake during which the building was tagged with what looks like gang signs. Perpetrators threw an outdoor trash can through a front window to get in and stole the till from two registers, but didn't take anything else. Leo Pachaki with the Grand County Sheriff's Office is leading the investigation. Over a 23-year period, the Lakeview building has been burglarized three times. The Serene Wellness Center in Fraser had the first customer walk through the doors before the medical marijuana shop had even hung the open sign in the window. It was a historic moment, said shopkeeper Dan Volpe. By Colorado law, a medical marijuana shop must grow at least 70% of the product it sells. However, that could soon change once medical marijuana shops go recreational. The house, which is in one of the few areas in Fraser where a medical marijuana business meets all zoning guidelines to operate, is believed to be at least 100 years old. Many questions still remain on the legalization of marijuana. At least four Colorado counties have already banned commercial sale, cultivation, and product manufacturing of recreational marijuana. Stay tuned to Channel 18. We bring you the latest news, weather, and important local information. I'm Casey Malone, and I'll see you next time on the Week in Review. Grand County's Week in Review is brought to you by Grand Mountain Bank, your hometown bank.